Okay, so let's do another one of these Fisher type projection molecules. Um, we're going to uh, assign RNS configuration to each stereo center in the following molecule. Okay, so uh, do I need to set it up again or can we just draw? Everybody's cool with the way we do it, right? Okay, so remember those two carbons are in the plane, so that's what we're going to draw first. This one's a little different than the last one because the lowest priorities are on opposite sides, okay? So that's why we wanted to look at this one too, okay? So here, the hydrogen and the methyl group are in front, so let's draw those. Okay, and then in back of the methyl group is a hydrogen, and back of the hydrogen is a bromine. And then the methyl group comes off of that carbon that has the bromine attached to it, and the hydroxyl group comes off of that carbon. Okay? We have the two stereo centers that we've already identified because they each have the four different groups. Okay? So one of the two stereo centers we can identify whether it's RS already, right? Which one is it? The left or the right? The left. The left one, right? Why is that? The hydrogen's already in the back, okay? So let's identify whether this is R or S, okay? So what's the highest priority? This, this, this. Bottom, yeah, okay? So one, two, right, and three. Like that, okay? So which way does this go? Counterclockwise, okay? So that's going to be S, like that. Everybody okay with that? Okay, so now what we want to do is get this hydrogen in the back. Okay, so how do we do that? Well, if you think about your human projection, we, we can rotate and rotate again. Okay, if we do that rotation two times, what's in the front will go to the top and then to the back. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. Okay, I'm going to keep this side of the molecule the same and I'm going to rotate that side two times. Okay? So I'm going to just redraw it over here. So notice that side of the molecule is the same. Okay? So now we're going to rotate this once. Now the hydrogen is up. The bromine is down and in the back, and the ethyl group is forward, okay, and on the bottom, okay. So then when we rotate it again, we get the hydrogen in the back, like that. The methyl group forward in the front, like that, and the bromine on the bottom, like that. Okay. So. I think we have a similar structure since we've been doing things that are similar to this. So let me try to get what we got here. So it's super opposite. So we've got this, right? There. Y'all see? Yes? No? Maybe? You see it? Yes. Yes. Yeah? Okay. Then we got this one here. That's good, right? The oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Everybody see that? So now what did I say? We're going to rotate it twice. Once, twice. Okay? So do you see? Now that's what we've got. Is everybody okay with what I did there? Okay, so if you can't do it in your head, build a little model. It helps a lot, okay? Uh, now, we got the hydrogen in the back, right? So we can assign stereochemistry here. Uh, bromine's biggest, am I correct? Yes. Okay, one, two, three, like that. What way is that? Clockwise, right? <laughs> Not always so easy, okay? So since it's clockwise, that's R. So what do we have here? S, R, like that. Okay, that's actually a diastereomer of the one that we just had, right? Okay. Any questions on this one?
make sense how we did that? Okay, good. <laughs>